BSCDA TV were at both of this year's semi-finals and you're now going to hear from the semi-finalists who booked their place on the world final grid here at Skegness Raceway. So I'm here with Paul Harrison who uh, got P10 in the, uh, in the semi. Absolutely, Rog. You'd be pleased with that. Oh, ecstatic. Now come on, please, to be in the world final <laughs> totally. game. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I was a, a younger fella, then I used to come to semi-finals and it was all about top three. Yeah. If you didn't get top three, I was disappointed, but I accepting of it within a a day or so but I remember when things are going pear shaped in a race you just think just get me over the line in the top 10 yeah, yeah. so we didn't actually realize while still on track and we had a, a nervous wait when we got back here because they said it could be 10th 11th something like that so when they saw on the BSCDA website that we've been given 10th we're like yeah we're really chuffed but it hides a multitude of sins that put that position Paul because you had a shocking start didn't you, you had a terrible you know things didn't go your yeah. way and you ended up right I, towards the back I've got a a young lad Morton Hall in front of me that's not raced Chale before so I was tentative behind him probably a little too hesitant which caused somebody to take me back in and I spun around Quite. just after getting going again Tom passed me to lap me soon after and just having done so the yellow flags came down yes. which put me immediately a lap down so I was on the back foot and I thought you know it's game over unless everybody crashes normally I'm cursing the water cart when it comes out between um, yellow flags but I was just like just drown the track yes. create havoc for everybody behind anything me anything that will give me a yeah yeah a and shout. I thought they can all crash and bang but after the first yellow I think there's only one car on the infield or something I thought it's just going to be one of them races they're going to be lying astern and I'm not going to qualify but a few yellow flags later and just behind Tom watching how it's done by our master hey, and uh, hey, hey. We, whoa, we whoa, whoa, whoa. because that's not quite true either is it because Tom did come past you but did Tom pull off and go into the distance well to be fair he was miles quicker than everybody I did actually suggest to him that what he could do on a restart is let me pass he could bin the next car that came past pull out the yellows I would be de-lapped and then make it easier for me to qualify but then having thought about it afterwards it'd just been easier to stick Tom over the fence unlap myself and then I'd have been so on the way lap do that because I didn't think about it till afterwards. Ah, uh, because you're a bit slow <laughs> in the head, aren't you? Right. Yeah, but the truth is that this is, Paul is again understating it because once once Tom went past you, you stayed with him all the way. Well, you, nobody else didn't, came past. Didn't, yeah, yeah, absolutely. that's right. So, um, so the pace is there. The pace was there, and we're all really chuffed to be part of the world final meeting, not just as a consolation semi-final entrant, but to actually be part of the big race. Yeah, it's a buzz for us. And this is just one of many semi-finals to come, Paul, right? No, this is my last semi-final and it will be my final world final. Possibly, I think, my final meeting. So you guys that have supported me over the years and I really appreciate your support, get yourselves to the Skeggy World Final. Come and watch me, do my best in my last ever world final. You've got to be in it to win it. Oh, I can't believe that. I'm actually a little bit gutted really because... <laughs> oh, Paul! <laughs> Yeah, you. you know, we've got all the fish to fry, you know, we're, um, we've had a great time, we've bossed and, and lived a life, 40th season this is for the racing of Formula One, and I just feel as though the, the fire in my belly, the drive and the desire and the passion and the commitment that's required, just, it's not me anymore, so it's time to move on and let the younger generation enjoy themselves. Brad equally feels a bit like me that the time that's required to race at the top level, he doesn't want to commit. And so he feels that if you're not making that commitment, then it's a tough gig to get out there and expect to do well. So I don't think you'll be seeing much, if any, of Bradley out on track again either, but we shall see. It's always a pleasure and an honour to talk to you, and I really look forward to seeing you. Thanks for interviewing me. Appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you. Courtney, massive congratulations, you're in your first world final. Thank you, we got there in the end. Yeah, you because you dropped out of the top ten for a while. Did you know you dropped out of the top ten? Yeah, I'd already eyed up the cars when it had spread out okay. a little bit and I'd got that little gap from the car in front of me. I'd counted myself about 12th or 11th. Yeah. I remember thinking, we need someone to make a mistake. Yeah. And I just waited upon it. Yeah. And so in terms of today, like because we do we do tarmac, so it was kind of lucky you got your was it lucky kind of tarmac semi-final for you? Yeah, because I've got the car. However, but yeah. I didn't mind the idea of shale. I was open to shale. I felt like, other than obviously it's a bit more riskier with flat tyres and bits of stuff like that, I felt like I had the experience compared to some of the other drivers on the grid yes. in terms of my background. Because you did Kings Lynn last month yeah. in Bob Plant's car yeah. and did very, very well. Yeah, it did go all right. Yeah. Better than expected, yeah. anyway. <laughs> Because then he took it to Sheffield on Monday and did very and he did well. Even better. Yeah. So you must have done a lot of good setup and well, stuff. Well, no, not me. Don't look at me for that <laughs> stuff. I just got in it and it, it went well. So. Yes. So anyway, back to, back to this. We spoke at the beginning of the year. Um, David, a brand new tarmac car, 
at Good Friday Skeg Nest, mm -hmm. and it's been going very well. You've had like a good, good year. Yeah, it has been going well. I think maybe my results previous years have been better as a whole in terms of we've been we've never had so much damage as we've had this year. General race damage, nothing necessarily our own fault. Um, just flat tyres here and there. I've never done so many wheels. <laughs> Never. Why? So, so we do have a wheel sponsor. <laughs> no, yeah, well, no, this is good. This um, is good for that. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's just gone that way. And then the last few meetings, that sort of stopped, put to bed, and it's gone back to how it was, yeah. which is nice. Yes. So, very, very kind of, just to summarise, first world final, on tarmac at Skegness. Is Skegness kind of your favourite track? Uh, tarmac, yeah. In the final yeah. one, I've done the most laps around there, so yeah. I feel comfortable around there. I know what the car's going to do, so. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be a big crowd, isn't it? Yeah. Lots of PR going on with this world final this yeah, week. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. good. Yeah, it's good. It gets people talking. It so. does. It does. Thank you very much and congratulations. Oh, Thank it. you. You've qualified nine, and so you're in your first ever world final. I am, yeah. I can't believe it, to be fair. Um, yeah, good starting position, to be fair, I think. Like, out of the trouble, and then, yeah, we got there in the end. So, so you started quite far back on the grid, so row nine to kind of going 18, so you made up some significant pace in that race. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the qualifying rounds last year, I was a bit useless. Like here, we came here and like, we just wasted our day out, really, to be fair. Um, I was a bit useless. Uh, pretty good this year in the qualifying rounds. Got myself up there. I wasn't actually in the semi to Ipswich. No, no. And then we had a really good Ipswich, so it saved me a bit. And then, yeah, we've had a good run there, to be fair. So happy. Oh, I'm real happy. Did you yeah, it's like a childhood dream, isn't it? <laughs> it is, absolutely. And um, like the car is in your car. Your car got sold. Yes, to Holland, uh, yeah. Rick Lenton, yeah. Yeah. And then you've ended up with, so this is, this is Chevel's car. Is it your yeah, car now no. or is it borrowed? Or? I'm just borrowing this one. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was Chevel's old car, but yeah, yeah, going well, so. Yeah. And so you're not going to keep this though, are you? No. That's no, no. Waiting for uh, Tom to get on, do some work. I spoke to Tom in the week, he said he's, he's, like, got, he's like just chilling out, he's got nothing to do. No, I think I keep him busy to be fair, like, I wrecked it at Skegness last week and then he's been helping me again all week, so I think yeah. I keep him busy to be fair. Yeah. And Skegness, you, uh, last weekend, you did very well around Skegness, yeah. bit of a rubbish start wasn't it, but then he got better towards entry, comfortable going into Skegness. Yeah, we went practicing on the Thursday and I was really happy to be fair, and then in that whites and yellows it was a bit carnage. and the. Uh, after the first restart, the throttle stuck on and yeah. uh, wrecked the car, so made out for the Grand National, wrecked it again, and then Sunday we had a good day, won the final. Yeah. So. And in terms of coming to Hednesford, I know we spoke last year at Hednesford, it was yes. a, bit, a bit rubbish, wasn't it? A bit of rubbish at Hednesford. So, uh, yeah. confident going into like today, were you kind of, I can make the world final? I think if you're not confident, you're doing it wrong then, aren't you, really? If you don't believe you can actually qualify, then you're not going to qualify, are you? No. So, yeah, we think you've always got to be confident, but yeah. Good. Listen, Callum, massive congratulations on making your first world final. Thank you. Ninth at King's Lynn. Happy? Yeah, really happy. It was a difficult race for me. After, I think, five, six laps, uh, I got a puncture left front. Yes. So I really, really struggled to get it into the turns and get it there. And every time the restarts came, and yeah, every time I get it hit, it jumps over the front wheel. So I really was trying to, yeah, to finish yeah. it. And, yeah, we did some tricks at the, at the restarts to get in full throttle and push people out. And, yeah, we, we, we finished, we finished in ninth, we ended up final. Yeah. It's not a bit of the back now, but... Yeah. So it was, a hard, it was a hard race for you then? It wasn't easy in the sense no. of, like, I've got a lot to think about to kind of get over the line. And yeah, get... it really is. And I, I have not not a lot of uh, Kings Inn experience so yeah. far, because they never do weekends. We yeah. always try to do the weekend yeah, of course. meeting. Yeah, it's the best way for us to do. So I struggled in the beginning really to get a car set yeah. good up there. And then, and then I tangled someone and I got a puncture left front, so it was... Yeah, really, not really helping. And then, yeah, we just start, just finish and overtake what we can overtake. Nine go in, and now we uh, keep going on the tarmac now. I said tarmac again, which you've, you've done a bit, haven't you, already? You did Skegness big weekend. Yeah, I did it, which I did. I did which, yeah. So, yeah, we really were looking forward to getting in the final, so yes. the effort was something. Yeah. We're going to do uh, Fenway in two weeks. Yes. Uh, just to get in, get in tarmac experience, really. Uh, we've got a good car now. We've got an XJ, a cool car, two A's. And, yeah. Really good car. You're taking this seriously. Yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we don't want to be in the world final just yeah. for the numbers. Yeah. Here we are in, we want to go for it. You know, I'm in another time like race and yes. I'm getting in, and I don't have the most expensive car out there, but if you are in, yeah we want to go for the win. So that's a congratulations guy job. Thank you. Eighth in the semi-final. Yep. Uh, at one point you were well up there. Yeah yeah. What happened? Uh, just crashed and banged <laughs> and walloped and got shuffled it back, but no, I'm happy with it, I'm in it, so yeah. that's what we've come here to do, so no, I'd have been a bit better further up, obviously, yeah. but it's 
it's been one from further back before, hasn't yeah, it? So, yeah. We'll see. So, are you happy with it? Because it was, when the kind of the last bit and you, you went right back, yeah. they kind of seemed to get a bit of a gap and it was yeah. like, you couldn't, you couldn't catch them. No, no, that's it. it. It just seemed to slick up and the car wasn't quite right. There was a few bits and bobs with damaged on it and I thought, just get it home, get it home. And I'm trying to count and look across, see how many cars are in front of it. I managed to get. I think uh, Nigel, Nigel on last bend, yeah. um, and, but I still wasn't sure then, yeah. uh, so well, now we did it. So Good, right, so you're lining up on a restart, yep. Joe Booth's alongside you, yep. and I love it when there's those two drivers and like, one thinks they're in front of the other. <laughs> are, you, are you kind of gesticulating to each other or are you waiting for somebody to tell you where you are? What well, was going it, on? It did wave at me and I, and I thought, I'll see you on kind of thing, and I thought, oh, is he pointing at a tyre or no? He like kind of pointed and I just put my thumb up to him and I was like, no. <laughs> Soon sort it sent out, wasn't it? So, yeah. so he he thought he was in front of you. I guess so, yeah. yeah. Uh, but we weren't going to let him in front. No, <laughs> no, so, and usually I just kind of keep up with the car in front, and then they usually shout in your ear. Sophie or the uh, powers that be yeah. usually say you need to move or whatever, and nobody did, so I didn't move. Oh, good. I like that. <laughs> right, and also. I mean, your, your, your wife is currently expecting your, your child yes, and yep. was due on Wednesday. Yes. Right, what would have happened if it's semi-final and you're like running first and they're like, they're waving going, right, we need to go? <laughs> Turn the phone off. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, on, uh, I'm on call right yeah. now. So, no, she, I've spoke to her after. She's painting, so okay. she must be all right. Yeah. She says she's fine, so we're going to do the final and then see what happens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if there's no sight, you might yeah. as well do a national. And that's it, that's it. Might even do tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no. So. Well done, Bobby. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Cheers. Yes. World final qualification, eighth yes. at Hednesford. Right, I just spoke to you off camera, and you were like, why are you so glum? And you're like, I should have done better. Yes. Um, I'm probably a bit too hard on myself. Like, I'm still over the moon that I got in. Yes. 100%. Um, but I just, I feel like I could have done better from my own perspective, if you get what I mean. No, elaborate. Why? Because you've got eighth, and yeah, I, I was just doing taking to the corners wrong. Right. I should have been going in. Like I was going in too tight, basically. Right. Okay. Um, but I didn't know that until I had a bit of input from out, off the track. If you know okay. what I mean. When you when the race was yes, over. Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it was more. I think I was too cautious in the fact of like, I've been. I've never qualified for a world yes. final. You see. Yeah. Yeah. And we weren't being at Skeg because I've got a decent pace yeah. at Skeg and I thought we could have a good shot. And yeah. But yeah, no, like, like I say, eighth row, to be fair, it might be a blessing in disguise. Yep. I've just been thinking about it because, like I said in a previous interview uh, with Sophie, if I'm on the front row, I bet I'm going to be chewing Armco in the first <laughs> corner. So It's a great line as well. Yeah, Keep saying it. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah, Use it. It's good. Um, so eighth row, I might be able to just let it all happen yeah, and just... Yeah. Through. Yeah, of course. You never know. But you know, like you're saying about you drove it cautiously. But semi-finals by default are all about qualifying for the. Yes. And you either get one of two races. What one like we saw, which is kind of yes. pretty much quite tame, or, yeah. or a bit of a yeah. carnage. To be one. fair, I was, I was quite like, I was expecting some bigger hits from people. Like yeah. I could, if I wanted an extra place, I could have tried to do a last bender on Adam Joyce. Yeah. But what, what's the point? I'm only going to mess my race and his race up. There's, yeah. there's no point. That's, I quite like, like I say. From where I was, I weren't gonna. Eight's an even number, I suppose. Yeah. Seven is odd number, so we'll stick to we'll stick to even. Oh, do, you, do you like? Do you like? Oh yeah, I'm, <laughs> not, I'm like that. I'm like <laughs> when I turn the car radio, it's got to be on an even number. See, we we could bond because I have to do things in three. So if I put petrol in the like in my car, yeah. it has to be like thirty pound, thirty pence. So oh, really? yeah. Nah, Check the door no, three that's, times that's a bit you... that's a bit strange actually. Is it? Yeah. I feel like we need to edit this edit this yeah. down when we put <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, right, car, uh, we we uh, your car's been at Tom's. Yes. Uh, obviously a lot of prep going yes. on this week. Yeah, and I think that's why it's like I can't thank Tom enough, like he's been brilliant, giving me tips and yeah. everything and uh, doing my car for me. And and that, I think that's the most annoying part about it, that the car was good. Yes. It's just myself the sort of like let it down but obviously as long as I don't do it on the main day I suppose yeah. I mean this is just as important as a world final but it's yeah, yeah. as long as I can keep it like all I wanted to do as long as I keep all four wheels on the car I qualified yeah so I mean eight row I keep, think my problem is I try and picture everything before it happens okay like I think so right this could happen this could happen and it's probably the worst thing you could do but no it's it was all right, right. it's good yeah. and the thing is there are 14 other drivers that haven't qualified <laughs> exactly you know. exactly um, I mean I'm trying 
I'm trying now to just score consistent points because I dropped down the points a bit, obviously, but Skeg sort of helped me get my points yeah. up a bit. And I'd like to try and get into the shootout now. Good. That's, Good. Yeah, that's yeah. one of my aims as well. Are we, are we on the cusp, aren't you? I think you're just one I'm below 17th. on. 17th. Yes. And then 17th. So, but I mean, like, from 17th to 10th, yeah. it's like not even 10 points. So it's yeah. like... Decent, me decent rest of meeting yeah. today, and then yeah. we, it cuts off at Kingsland, isn't it? That's the cut yeah. off for, for it. So. Yeah. yeah, good. Right, yeah. listen, I'm going to leave you to it. Um, before we go, YouTube channel still doing good? Yes, yeah, Grace HQ. Make sure you like and subscribe. But no, I'm actually at 5,000 subscribers now. Are so, you? Yeah, I'm quite impressed. By a tire? I didn't maybe? even know that many people liked me. <laughs> they must just feel sorry for me, I think. <laughs> they do. Well, yeah. it's all this plug in. Yeah. Listen, yeah. massive congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.